Natalie, is that you? how good the water pressure is in this house. Oof. Be done in a minute. Take your time. I brought you a drink. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> really, the nerve of that woman. What woman? Woman. What other woman would I be talking about? The woman that you were married to? Not just once, but twice. <laughs> Victoria, Lord, Riley Burke, Riley, Buchanan, Buchanan. Carpenter Davidson. Yes. Her name should be Bluebeard, because if she gets really cozy with her new living arrangements, well, then she might just get her eighth husband, or is it her ninth? Vicky's opened her home to David. How is that going to result in them getting married? Oh, you never know. David is a thoroughgoing scoundrel, but he can be very charming and seductive when he wants to be. Why are you so up in arms about this? Are you jealous? I am not jealous! Clint, I'm not jealous. Then why would you even care if David and Vicky ever got together? I don't! <laughs> All right. I do care. But not for the reason that you think. And what do you think I think? Well, I think you think that I'm still carrying a torch for David. I'm not. You are the man that I adore. Door. You're the perfect man for me. Let's get back to the subject at hand, shall we? All right. I am averting a disaster for both of our families. Okay, by doing what? Well, David and Vicky are two of the most relentless people on the planet. That doesn't answer the question. When they see that this, this, this stupid little plan they have to, to, you know, get a reaction out of me is having absolutely no effect, well, then they'll just up the ante. They'll keep raising the bar on this, on this brinksmanship game that they're playing. Before you know it, we'll be watching them recite their marriage vows. <laughs> recite their marriage vows? Dorian, you've gone and lost it. <laughs> this is not remotely funny. It is, because it's not going to happen. There's no way that David and Vicky are heading to the altar. You bet there isn't. <laughs> because I'm going to nip this thing in the bud right now. I'm not the son. What? You're not going to go blind if you look directly at me. But I may turn into a pillar of salt. David, go get a bath towel and dry yourself off. You are dripping all over my oriental rug. Isn't this a bath towel? For a frog, it's a bath mat. Huh. Better yet, forget the towel. Go get a, go get a robe. No, are you kidding? In this heat, I'll break into a sweat and need a whole nother shower. David! Am I making you uncomfortable? That is the last thing I want to do to my favorite landlady. Well, then you should know that this particular landlady does not run a clothing optional facility. Oh, you got a hang up. What? About the naked body. Oh, for heaven's sakes, Dave. The human form is nothing to be ashamed of. Is that so? You know what would help? If you grew up? Naked Tai Chi. No, better yet, if you left the house. You should join me. David, get dressed. I do it every day at noon as soon as I roll out of bed. This is not working. You've never had your chakras flushed, have you? Are you listening to me at all? We could do it together. Would you like to flush your chakras with me? No, I would like you to find somewhere else to live. I know what we'll do. We'll start with the long yang form. Don't worry, I'll hold your ankles when you do the handstand. Okay, David, look at me. Look, right here. Get dressed and leave this house now. You know what they call someone who offers something and then takes it away? Rude. Yes, you're actually quite right. 
It's very bad manners. Unfortunately, it was worse manners for me to invite you here in the first place because I was being disingenuous. How so? Oh, David, come on. I only invited you to annoy Clint and Dorian. So? So, I did not invite you out of the goodness of my heart. I had an ulterior motive. Oh, I know. Yeah, I'm okay with that. It's about time you gave Dorian what for. Really? Yeah. And believe me, I will help you ruin the woman. We can cook up any kind of corporate espionage, maybe frame her for bigamy, whatever you want, I'm on board. What did she do to earn such hostility from you? She cheated me out of $10 million. Oh, money, of course, yes. No, David, I'm not gonna get into it with Dorian now because once something like that starts, you know, it takes an act of God to stop it. And I don't have the energy for her right now. Come on, I'll be right by your side. I'll inspire you, I will cheer you on. I don't want you by my side. I don't want you in my house. Fine. Forget spite. Let me stay because... I could make it worth your while. Dorian. This is insanity. You can't go over there. Oh, yes, I can. And I will drag David kicking and screaming out of the house, it, it, if I have to. And he'll thank me for it. In fact, she'll thank me for it, too. No, I'm not going to let you make a fool of yourself. Excuse me, but David is doing this for revenge. Vicky is doing it for spite. I mean, <laughs> am I going to make less of a fool out of myself if I just stand by and wait until they're embroiled in some nasty, disgusting divorce and they drag down both our families? Well, you got them divorced already? I know both these people. I know how they operate. No, you don't. No. What you're doing is overreacting to David and Vicky setting the bait for you. They want you to be jealous. Nothing would give them a bigger thrill. That is my whole point. What is? I can just see them sitting around the mansion, you know, just grinning, laughing, you know, just so pleased with themselves, sharing a bottle of domestic champagne because they think they have gotten to me. My head is spinning. Maybe this would help. Come on. Forget. Vicky, stay here with me. <laughs> <laughs>